Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Henry Mr. 83 coming here with a brand new vid on a vid that I redid four times already. And all I want to say, even though this is kind of a little rant on Adidas, really Nike, really. Anyways, um, I had to remake the video because one, the last one, I just got kind of off track because I was a little ticked that I had to make this. Well, three times then, now four times because I just saw it and like how it came out. But anyways, y'all know how I am honest with y'all. Um, <laughs> uh, Nike has changed their release date on a pair that I was talking about. And as y'all can see in the title, um, well, Adidas done it again. Where Adidas releasing these Ultra Boots. They're the Laceless Ultra Boots. Even though it wasn't there one that was called the Laceless already. I think it was the Uncaged. It wasn't that Laceless. I don't know. I don't know too much about Ultra Boots. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I'm more of a big fan of the Human Races and NMD. I think those two are like the best boost. Out of all the boost design, those are the best ones. And I'm still in the iffy with them. I haven't copped any. I could have, but I haven't copped any of them because to me, it's still not worth the price. Um, NMDs, maybe worth. If you want to put them in a category that the Ultra Boost is like the top of the line and the EQT is. Um, actually, the EQT is one up there too. Like EQT is the third one. To me, it's Human Racers, um, which is super hype, but I like the design. I mean, if that shoe didn't have Pharrell's name under it, trust me, the Human Racer would have still been up there. Um, I just like the way it looks. It looks cool, you know. It has something to it. That it just looks like that one looks like the Human Racer does look like it's worth 180. I think these right here are max, looks like they max price 150. You know. The Ultra Boost, at least. Oh, even the original OG Ultra Boost should be only 150 bucks. I would never pay resale for any of those. And I would never actually buy them. I ain't gonna lie. Well, would I take them as a gift? Why not? It's a gift. But you'll see me actually rock them. The only one that I even ever considered was a triple black. And that's if I could get it for 50 bucks. That's the max I would pay for them. The max that I think they should have been that they're worth like to where retail wise that I guess around because of the day it's 150 but that's my opinion you know okay somebody's messaging but anyways yeah so I wanted to talk about these because these uh been in, in a loop for about a week or two I think they're releasing sometime this week or sometime this month um uh, I know it's sometime during the holiday. I, I, I don't remember. Like I said, I've been making this video so much. I think it is this week for Black Friday they're releasing or Cyber Money, whatever. So because of that, I think Nike was like, hold up. Because this, right here, which to me looks way better. The Vapor Max looks way better than Ultra Boost. I don't care if Ultra Boost is more comfortable, a little more comfortable. Because that's what I've heard. It's only a little more comfortable than the Vapor Max, which the Vapor Max I think is around the same price as 180, 190, I think around that price range. Don't know. When I see those numbers on these sneakers, no. That's why I haven't really rocked Air Max. It's like um I don't think they're worth even back then, like when a ninety five and ninety six, I don't think they're worth that price up there. It's a low and and I hate to say it, in my opinion, I don't think they're really worth that price. Uh, what I think is worth how much uh, the Vapor Max is really worth to me is like one sixty. I don't think any Air Max should be over one sixty. Like at least general releases, unless it's like a special something that has to do with like you know Dornbeckers or, or even Dornbeckers. Some of them are retail. If I'm not wrong, the the up temple one. Uh, the DB of tempos, more of tempos are were only one sixty if I'm not wrong, retailed at one sixty. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. So 
you know, like, Adidas, like, uh, y'all heard me say it before. Like, they need to get more original, you know. And at first it was like, okay, it's only, it's mostly, you know, Kanye. And, and Kanye is influencing Adidas a lot because um, he is like, well, it was because it started to die down, which is funny. I called it. Me and my wife is talking. I'm like, I called it. It's not going to last no more than a year or two. Um, I think he did better with Nike. Uh, his designs were way better with Nike, even though they were like, you know, a mesh of everything. But this is the, all his Yeezys now, except the V2s, I could kind of say, are not. But all of the other ones are meshups of other sneakers. It's not. And I understand, you know, people get influenced in their designs of other, you know, sneakers. But the Vapor Max, I hate to say it, does not look like it, you know. It came from looking like, oh, it took influences from, you know, the Ultra Boost, you know. But you could, you, y'all can see what I'm talking about. It's way too similar. Yeah, okay, you know, the Vapor Max doesn't have that little thing in the heel that the Ultra Boost has. You know, but other than that, everything else is almost the same. And the, and the bottom sole. Everything else is very similar. And... Um, if I'm not wrong, the Vapor Max was being designed even to what I heard. I'm not sure. I can't be, I, I've, I've tried to look, but I'm not deep with Nike. Like this design has been done before even the Ultra Boost was designed to what I heard. I'm not sure if it's a thousand percent, but to what I heard and, and, and it, it to what it shows, it's true. Cause I mean. And not honestly, let's be honest. The um, Easy Three Hundred and Fifty was it. It looked so similar to like if there was a Flynet Roshi. I think I don't. I think they did release a Flynet Roshi, but you know, the only thing original I hate to say about the uh, Yeezy lines is the. Bottom sole that looks well, the midsole and the bottom sole, those those are unique. Um, but other than that, there is no uniqueness, you know, and there isn't. And I'm gonna show you, there's even more like you know, the olive pair. Here's the olive pair. Um, in all honesty, like color wise. The Ultra Boost one looks a little better, like, the way it's blended in. But the silhouette, this just looks nicer to me. And I'm not a big low fan. And then there's the triple black ones, which are the most acceptable ones that I would take. But, again, you think I would pay, like, 50 bucks, 60 bucks at Ross or at the outlet if I find them. You know what I mean? Um, that's just my opinion. But these right here, it's just beautiful. Like, these actually look nice. Like, the Air Max size, the Air Max line has looked great all the time. I'm not a big low fan, but when it comes to Air Maxes, that's where I would actually. I own, I think, uh, two pairs of Air Maxes. I think in my collection, a ninety. Uh, I don't know what else I own. Another one. Um, I gotta check that out. But yeah, like, I don't know. Adidas, you've done it again. You copied off something. I mean, yeah, there's a difference. You know, like, a, like. That um, stretchable uh, strap instead of a, that's, I guess, a primate. I'm not sure if it's not stretchable. Uh, I haven't seen anybody have them in hand yet. Nobody has them early yet. Um, and nobody has the Vapor Max even early yet. I don't think they were supposed to release anytime soon. I think uh, Adidas has seen that they're losing people. Um, so they had to bring out a new design for the Ultra Boost, and Nike's doing the same thing. They're seeing that Adidas is pushing that, and basically Nike's like, hey, ha, you try. You're going to try, but Adidas, I'm sorry. Boom, I'm going to take this out. And I hate to say it, like, these look way better than these. You know, just that color, the color combo. Uh, it's just looking better. These look a little better than these, um, in my opinion, because I think the olive and white with cream just looks pretty dope. And then the truth, well, no, these, they, they, 
the Vapor Max kills it on the Triple Blacks. Um, but out of all the Ultra Boost ones, the Triple Black, I, I like all the Triple Black. I like the Triple, triple Black NMDs, the triple, triple Black Ultra Boost. I like them because you don't see the weirdness <laughs> of it. You know, because that's the problem with, I hate to say, the whole boost line. Um, well, runner or whatever, walkers, whatever you want to call them. Because I heard a lot of people who have ran with NM, with uh, NMDs or, or ran with Ultra Boost. They don't last. That's just what I heard. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm going to leave up my favorite right here. These, I, I think these are really nice ever since I first saw them. And this is like a month or two ago almost. So that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, Adidas. I miss Adidas original, like the real original. Like, come on, like the shell toe, that's just original. There were so many silhouettes out there, but the thing is that that shell toe, that toe cap, was just it changed the whole shoe for some reason, you know. Same thing, it, it, put it this way with Jordan brand, the elephant print on the three changed everything. Um, yeah, man, you know, Adidas used to be really good to me, like in originality. Did I really like Adidas like that? Eh. The three stripes always got me kind of weird, like, it didn't match only on the Shell toes, um, I like the crazy eights, the whole Kobe line I like, even the uglier ones, um, I don't know why, uh, you know, but, come on Adidas, be original, um, I know that they basically got some of the old Nike staff now working for them, and I could see where it's influencing, but. Come on, I would be like, no, man, it looks too similar to this one. Give me something original. Um, but anyways, that's my opinion. Y'all let me know in the comments below how y'all feel, what y'all think about what I said in this video. Please let me know in the comments below. I would like to know what y'all think. Um, there is something that I thought of in the last couple of videos that I try to make of this video. And I'm going to be calling it the Hype Eye. I might be doing a segment called the Hype Eye, um, which is like Pink Eye. You know, it's, it's somebody, uh, you know, it's kind of an irritation and it kind of blinds you a little. That's how I see the hype. Um, and everybody has a little hype piece in, in them. I, I have a little bit, like with... You know, OG colorways of the Jordan or Jordan retros. I'm hyped for this. I'm a little hype beast on those. And the OG colors of foams, you know. And, and you know, my favorite ones. Uh, but, yeah. You know, let's get some, some type of medication for the hype eye. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. <laughs> this is Animus 33. I want to thank all new subscribers for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, join the fam. Um, uh, yeah. You know, subscribe. And those who are subscribed, don't forget to hit that little, make sure that little not notification button is working. That little bell is on for you to get the videos when they pop up, when I make them. Um, yeah. And, and, and those that, are subscribing don't forget to also press it thank you everybody again god bless have an amazing day peace